Good. Onward. I know what it is. <laughs> oh, here we go. Where are we going to stay tonight? Did anybody make reservations? <laughs> We're in the middle of nowhere. Can um, I have your license registration, please? Can I explain? Good, that's all. This type of stuff. I don't know. The shell man. Yeah. Product of <laughs> Nice. I'm gone. We I'm don't clear. know him. Unlike the brands you'll find in every mall in America today, Duckhead invented khakis here in the South way back in 1865. That's why down here, they're not khakis, they're Duckheads. Duckhead, we were khakis before you were born, unless you're 134 years old. Seems like everybody wants to get their hands on a pair of duckheads. The original American khakis since 1865. Oh. Hola. 67 pesos, $9. Oh boy. Got my card right here. Brito, no. No dinero. No gas. But that's all I have. Maybe there's something. No matter where you go, people recognize duckheads as the original American khakis since 1865. I met her on the mating game. She says... Pick you up at eight. I ask her what we're doing. She says... Let me surprise you. Next thing I know, I'm on my way to France for what she calls... An intimate get-together among friends. Well, good thing I wore my duck heads. Casual yet classy. I'm dressed for anything from dinner to fancy restaurant to hanging on the beach. Great pants. Oh, yeah. Next thing I know, we're partying on the Riviera. Yeah, I've got you, Jack. Yeah, right Everyone's there. Sly, darling. Yeah. Suddenly, the party's held up by a clan of rude waiters. You call this a tip? Yeah, get it yourself. What is this, like 4%? I hate this job. Good thing I wore duck heads. Laying for over an hour under the cocktail buffet, other clothes might get messed up, not duck heads. Hey, let's blow this scene. OK. Here's your scuba gear. She says, huh? good thing duck heads look great wet, too. Life's a road trip. Back your duck heads. Billy and I have a whole Saturday to kill, so when he says, I want to go to the circus, I say, great idea. As soon as we get there, Billy says, I want to ride the elephants. Good thing Billy's wearing his duck heads, clean, classic, and durable. They're rugged enough to ride large, unshowered jungle beasts and still look great. Hey, Mom, look what he does when I pinch him. Suddenly, Billy and I are riding a crazed pachyderm right through the clown tent. <laughs> hey, Mommy, that guy 
It has a nose just like Uncle Orville. Next thing I know, we're headed for a tent marked Big Cats. When suddenly, Flexor the contortionist leaps onto the elephant's back and puts him in a headlock, saving the day. Hey, mister, I have the same pants as you. Of course, Flexor was wearing duck heads, but backwards, I think. Life's a road trip packed with duck heads. Hey, Mom, look over here. So I'm at this job interview. Next! And this guy is huge. Thick neck, gold rings, pinstripe suit. I say, what does this job entail? He says, Hey kid, come with me. Next thing I know, we're winging it to the Big Apple. Good thing I'm wearing duck heads. Classic, polished, yet comfortable. No matter where we end up, I'm dressed for the occasion. We land on this yacht. One of our little company perks. Where everyone's having a great time. He leans over and says, Hey kid, come with me. I follow him down to the engine room. Hey, boys, got the stuff? All right, everybody, please. Suddenly, the place is jumping with cops. We all get arrested. The good news is I'm wearing duck heads, which look perfect in court. The boss man says, Yeah, and they'll still be in style when you get out in 10 to 20. But that's a different job interview. Life's a road trip. Back your duck heads. Next! Ever since he was two, Jimmy wanted to join the little beavers. This year, he said, I join or the rose bushes die. So Jimmy and I drive way out into the country and start climbing what looks like K2 for the little beaver retreat. I told you this would be fun, Mom. Good thing Jimmy's wearing his duck heads. They're rugged enough to handle the great outdoors. Hey, Mom, that sign says look out for falling rocks. Next thing I know, there is an avalanche. I grab Jimmy, and suddenly we're falling down a rocky ravine. Don't worry, Mom. There's a big, deep river at the bottom. So the worst we get is a little wet, which is okay since Jimmy's duck heads dry quickly and still look perfectly appropriate. <laughs> Next, we're floating right past a little beaver campsite, and Jimmy says, Can we do that again? Just then, we're surrounded by alligators, but that's another trip to the country. <laughs> Life's a road trip. Pack your duck heads. In 1928, Frank Gordy decided to open up a drive-in restaurant on a corner of the Georgia Tech campus in Atlanta. He cooked up a mess of burgers, chili dogs, fries, rings, and peach pies, hired an army of charismatic curbside waiters, and the varsity was born. We know. We were there. Duckhead. Unlike all those other khaki brands you find in every mall in America, we were khakis before you were born. Unless you're 134 years old because Duckhead invented khakis here in the South back in 1865. And they've been worn in classic Southern eateries like the Varsity ever since. Starched, cut off, wrinkled, or pinned. As honest, authentic, and individual as the folks who wear them. At the Varsity, it's not a hot dog to go, it's a naked dog walking. And here in the South, they're not khakis. They're Duckheads since 1865. By the time the Hole in the Wall Club opened up on Beale Street in Memphis, it was 1918. And men with names like Booker White, W.C. Handy, and Lead Belly were playing the blues every night like they invented them. Because by many accounts, they did. We should know, we were there. Duckhead. Unlike all those other khaki brands you find in every mall in America today, we were khakis before you were born. Unless you're 134 years old because Duckhead invented khakis here in the South back in 1865. And khaki lovers from Memphis to Miami have been singing anything but the blues ever since. Starched, cut off, wrinkled, or pinned. As honest, authentic, and individual as the folks who wear them. See, on Beale Street, you're not happy if you don't have the blues. And here in the South, you don't have khakis if you don't have Duckheads since 1865. In 1957, college students from Ole Miss to UVA traded in their peg pants and burl cream for straight leg khakis and a crew cut, and began the first of many spring break pilgrimages to places like the Pad, Sunny's, and the OD Pavilion on the Carolina coast, where the air was thick, the music was beach, and guys like Squirrel Evans and Cadillac Jack Smith were backing off the crowds with an infectious little dance number they called the Shag.
we know. We were there. See, Duckhead invented khakis here in the South back in 1865, and they've been worn in every juke joint from Myrtle Beach to Lauderdale ever since. Starched, cut off, wrinkled, or pinned. As honest, authentic, and individual as the folks who wear them. In the South, the shag isn't some bad haircut from the 70s. It's the official dance of the state of South Carolina. And down here, they're not khakis, they're duckheads since 1865. Living proof we all can't get to college on an athletic or academic scholarship, huh? Yeah! All right! Hey, but you may be able to get there by the seat of your pants. Baby, baby, go big you! It's Duckhead's Khakis for College Sweepstakes with a grand prize of a $10,000 college scholarship or that amount in cash. First prize, $500 worth of Duckhead Khakis and second prize, $250 worth of Duckheads. Woo! Duckhead Khakis in college, it's a perfect fit. Especially since Duck hit something, you know, of an institution itself. You know, born 1865, worn wherever khakis and comfort have been in style ever since. Especially at... College! Shoot him. So enter the Duckhead Khakis for College Sweepstakes in any participating Duckhead retail. Oh, yeah! No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited. Entries must be received by April 17, 1999. See official rules in participating stores or send a self-addressed stamped envelope to Duckhead Rules, P.O. Box 688, Winder, Georgia, 30680. 